Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So in today's video I want to show you my next two predictions what will happen here in the Bitcoin price once we're reaching this 20k target so the all-time high of Bitcoin. I have two scenarios that I think that could play out. One is a bit more bearish, one is a bit more bullish but overall in the long term it is going to be very bullish holding Bitcoin but what could happen next will be very important for the next coming uh, trades on Bitcoin. Doesn't matter if you want to take profits, if you want to buy more Bitcoin, if you want to go long or short. So this is going to be very important what will happen next. And that's why I have these two scenarios that most likely are going to play out. And now my friends, before we start with the content, a little reminder that if you want to long or short Bitcoin and other cryptos, you can do this over on Bybit or Femex. Those are the two exchanges that I recommend you the most here. You can go long or short on Bitcoin, for example, with leverage up to 100x. So if you need an account over here, then make sure to use my referral links that you find down below here in the video description because with my links you can get a lot of bonus and extra money so you can do even more free trades with those bonus that you can get here for free you can withdraw all the gains that you're doing this is if you want to trade at your own if you think that you are a good trader and you want to try it out and those two exchanges i recommend you the most and if you want to try this special co-vesting feature that Prime XPT has, only Prime XPT so far has this special co-vesting feature which you can just put some money in a trader and then it's gonna be copy traded. So every gain that this trader is going to do, you will also be part of it. And you can like this also make some very nice gains. For example, this guy over here has over 6,000% in gains. So if you followed this guy since the beginning, you would have 6,000% as well so if you want to try out this prime xpt thing then make sure to use my referral link that you also find down below here for prime xpt and if you like to play card games casino games with your cryptos then make sure to try out the bplay that is a very new platform which is also in cooperation with binance so you can easily also connect your binance wallet to this website so you have two choices you can top up here some cryptos and play with it or also just combine it with your binance account and you can easily play some games here if you like to play poker blackjack and so on if you want to open up a free account over here then make also sure to use my referral that you find down below here so if you like to play with your cryptos you can do that over here on a B play and now my friends let's start with the content because currently Bitcoin is again in a very critical point it looks like that we are about to touch again the all-time high of Bitcoin at around $20,000 we still have a lot of warning signs that we could be in a bigger correction and that's why we're gonna analyze what could happen if we gonna top out at 20k at the old all-time high what are the targets and of course also what could happen if we're gonna see a breakout to the upside and create a new all-time high this is what we're gonna analyze in the weekly time frame but first let's start here with the lower time frames like here the four hour here you can see that currently we had another sell signal and also we had a bearish divergence here so we have a lower high in the RSI and a higher high in the price but Bitcoin since is going parabolic to the upside it is just ignoring all kind of bearish signs so we just see follow through here and I think even though we could lose here this support at $18,500 we should have the 20 moving average here in the four hour time frame at $18,200 as a very strong support because so far even though we had several sell signals we only came down to the 20 moving average and then immediately had another big bounce to the upside so that's why my friends I'm telling you look for good buy opportunities buy the dips long the dips because we are right at the beginning of a major bull run of course sooner or later there will be a huge nasty correction and that might be the best opportunity to accumulate as much Bitcoin as possible but those kind of big corrections maybe happens once in like half a year or something like this and on the way to the upside we have several smaller corrections so you want to also trade those 
those small corrections. So as soon as you see the price moving towards a very important support, make sure that you open up longs and also that you try to accumulate as much Bitcoins as possible on the way up. Because what we have seen so far is just the beginning. So in the lower time frames, I still see some bearish signs that we maybe could come down at least to test the 20 moving average in the four hour. So another $18,000 retest maybe during the weekend, because remember on the weekend, we always have play time. Often the price is just pumps and dumps. And then on Monday retraces back where the CME closed and the CME is closed yesterday on Friday at $18,600. So wherever the price is going during the weekend, most likely it's going to retrace again towards $18,600. And now we can go over into the daily time frame because again here you see that we are still closing daily candles above the nine day moving average which currently is at $17,330. So I think it is also likely that we will see today or tomorrow a possible correction down to the nine day moving average at $7,300 and then from here on gonna continue our parabolic run up. Only if we would close daily candles below this moving average, so below $17,300, I think we could be in here for a major correction potentially again towards 12 to 13 thousand dollar but as long as we are keeping up here with the 9 day moving average we should be definitely still shifted to the upside and if we have a look into the bollinger bands in the daily you can see that we are still right here at the top so a correction even down towards seventeen thousand three hundred dollar is still in the cards and still healthy so even if we see the price going again sub eighteen thousand dollar it wouldn't change anything on our trend even if we would drop towards the 20 daily moving average at sixteen thousand dollar we still remain on our bullish way to the upside so bitcoin is looking really bullish even though it could have a two thousand dollar drop within a couple of hours or days we will still remain on our bullish way to the upside and that's why I try to accumulate as much bitcoins as possible my friends and now let's go over into the weekly time frame and see what could be the next big targets here in case of the bearish scenario and also in case of the bullish scenario. So as I told you also in yesterday's video, Bitcoin is currently forming this nice double bottom formation, so a W formation. So with this formation, we can have a look what could be the target here since we already broke the neckline here of $14,000. So if we do a measurement from the neckline here down to the bottom of this W formation and put it right here at the neckline, you can see that we would have in theory a target of around 23,000 dollar per Bitcoin. And I think that is a very reasonable price target in case that we can really take out this high that we had here and also create a new all time high. I think this is a very reasonable price target to meet before having any kind of bigger correction. The problem is only that I think if we are reaching these high levels up here at around 23 to 25 thousand dollar is that most likely FOMO is coming in and everyone is just buying Bitcoin like crazy and push the price even higher potentially even towards the next Fibonacci extension here at around 30 thousand dollars. So I don't think that if we're going to reach here this 23 thousand dollar that we're going to stop here. I think we will just continue to head higher. So this would be the bullish scenario if this formation is successfully going to play out here without having any kind of corrections. So in that case, not only we would create a new all time high, but also we would completely destroy this 20k and go straight towards $30,000 before maybe having any kind of bigger correction because keep in mind that Bitcoin usually likes to go down and test the 20 weekly moving average which currently is still far away from us it's down here at $12,000 of course every week that passes this moving average is coming higher and higher but keep in mind that we could have at any time a correction down towards this moving average and therefore we're gonna now have a look into the other scenario so the more bearish scenario at least for the short term before we are breaking the old all-time high and create new all-time highs so if we put this fib line up here at the all-time high of around nineteen thousand eight hundred seventy dollar you can see that we would have a 0.618 fib line at around ten thousand dollar and here the 0.5 fib line at twelve thousand dollar exactly where also our 20 weekly moving average is lining up. 
And since Bitcoin likes to retrace always here between the 0.5 and the 0.618 Fib line when it has bigger corrections and also the fact that the 20 weekly moving average is right at those levels and during bull trends is always holding as a support. I think it is very likely that if 20k again is going to be our next local top we could have this possible correction down towards these levels here before we're gearing up here for the next big move that will also break these 20k and then go straight towards $30,000 which in theory should be the next target based on the Fibonacci extensions. So you see my friends we have two big scenarios that are coming up here. One is the more bullish one that we're just gonna break through 20k immediately and go towards 30,000 and of course create new all-time highs before maybe having any kind of bigger correction and at the other hand since all indicators are very overbought and extended right now I think we could also be in here for this bearish scenario where we're gonna first see a massive sell-off towards these important supports down here and then gear up for the big move towards 20k and also break it immediately so we can start to go into new levels. Those two are my scenarios for now and I think one of the two is going to play out very very soon because we are just about to touch the all-time high and this is where we're gonna see a lot of people taking profits or starting to FOMO in once we're gonna create a new all-time high. So make sure that you're ready for both scenarios my friends and also that you're ready to trade it because even with small money right now you can do really nice gains over on Bybit and Femix. Doesn't matter where the price is going if you are trading these next big moves you can do really life-changing gains. So with that said guys I'm gonna wrap it up for now. Don't forget to smash the like button if you like the content and also subscribe to the channel very important. I do daily TA videos and also feel free to join our free discord trading chat the chat is completely for free and everyone is welcome and of course if you have time check out all the links that you find down below here because with my referral links you will get some extra money if for example you want to buy some bitcoin or if you want to mine some bitcoin with your computer so definitely check out all the links down below here I'm sure some of them are very helpful also for you so thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye!